keep a straight face to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. I'm trying to keep a straight face. It's a little bit of a challenge for me. I'm not very good at keeping a straight face, but it is important to keep a straight face when we're growing and building and supersizing our business, especially in certain situations. We'll talk about those in a minute. What the heck does it mean? It means to maintain a serious or neutral facial expression despite what's going on around you or what information you might be hearing. Uh, it comes from the late 1800s and it was originally uh, derived from hearing and in comedy shows that comedians would try to keep a straight face because being having a serious expression when they were delivering something funny or having a funny interaction made the situation all that more humorous. Comedians are uh, amazing at doing this, delivering the message with timing and tonality and all the different nonverbal uh, body language type things that make their uh, delivery funny and humorous to the rest of us. Now, keeping a straight face, again, it's something I do much better in a professional setting than I do in my everyday life and in personal relationships, right? Usually, and we have a standing joke in my family that my kids and I, you can tell exactly what we're thinking and feeling because it shows up on our face all the time. Do not have a poker face. We've actually talked about poker face, which is a similar thing, but a poker face implies that you're not necessarily being above board and honest and telling the truth. To keep a straight face means you're being serious and professional in situations that might be emotionally charged. I think of negotiations. Part of the game, and I think negotiations are a game, is that it depends how you go into that negotiation, your intent. If your intent is to have everybody win, it's easy to keep a straight face and take emotion out of the situation. If your intent is to pounce on the other side and beat them at all costs, you're probably not going to have a straight face. You're not going to want to have a straight face. You want to be intimidating or whatever. Uh, but negotiations are a place where I have had to learn in a work setting and in corporate America to, you know, hey, this is what we're talking about. Be serious, professional, and not let my emotions show on my face. Uh, contracts, legal issues, legal challenges. If you've ever been in court, you know that that is not the place to act humorous or take lightly the matter at hand, depending on what the situation is. Uh, audits and giving and receiving feedback. Sometimes we need to keep a straight face or take a straight face uh, because some of the things that auditors come up with are just <laughs> ridiculous and unbelievable, but we don't want to let them know that we think they're ridiculous and unbelievable. Same is true of feedback, both giving and receiving feedback. How we deliver feedback, how we receive feedback tells a lot more about us than it does the other person. Um, in meetings and at events, we want to sometimes keep a straight face. And, and maybe to me, a straight face means more about being professional and taking time to respond in the way that you choose to versus just reacting to things. So it helps us to be more proactive than reactive. Uh, interviews, you know, most of us need to keep a straight face and be professional and serious in interviews. When we're talking about or hearing or delivering news, right? Depending on if it's good news or bad news to the person you're delivering it to, you might want to give it the level of seriousness that they're probably gonna give it. Uh, arguments and disagreements. This is probably one of the toughest places for me to keep a straight face and take some of the emotion out of the situation because when we disagree with people, it usually is for an emotional reason because I found that with arguments and disagreements, most of the time, the part that we don't agree on is tiny compared to all the things that we do agree on. That's why I like negotiations and audits and things, because we learn more about ourselves and how we respond in stressful situations. So, curious about your ability to keep a straight face. I would say, professionally, I'm only at about a six or seven, <laughs> and that's with me trying. In my personal life, probably two or three. I do not try very hard to keep a straight face when it comes to those I love and care about, my family situations, etc. All right, that's our idiom for today. Share in the comments below your experience with this particular idiom and expression. I guarantee I have said try to keep a straight face or keep a straight face hundreds of times uh, to my, well, thousands and tens of thousands of times to myself, but also to 
other people, my kids, to people that we're in discussions with, etc. So, have an awesome day. Monday here in my neck of the woods. If I can help you in any way, ask otherwise. I'll be with you tomorrow with an interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how could you use it to grow and supersize your business? Keep a straight face today when necessary. And I'll see you tomorrow.